What's up guys? It's Coach Ashley here again with a, another video in our living room workout series. I've got a good one lined up for you guys today. So before we get into our workout, let's go over what we'll be doing, the equipment we will be needing. We're going to start with standing dumbbell calf raises. And for those, you're just going to need some sort of weight you can hold in each hand. I have two 12 pound dumbbells. Then we're going to do leg raises for our abs. Then we're going to do alternate lunge jumps for our quadriceps right here. Then we're doing what's called a dumbbell superman. That's going to focus on our lower back right here. You can do this without weight, but if you want more of a challenge, you can add a small amount of weight. I'm using three pound dumbbells, um, but you can do that one without weight as well and still get a good benefit from it. And last but not least, we have our spend press. Usually we do this one with a plate, but I do not have a plate today, so I'm using a six pound medicine ball. You can use dumbbells if that's all you have. Um, and then our muscle groups we're focusing on today are our calves, right here on the back of your leg, our abs, right here, your quadriceps on the front of your leg, our lower back, right here, and then that is all we are focusing on today in addition to our chest right here. So, also, if you're on a hard floor like me, you might want a mat of some kind for the exercises when you lay on the floor, um, but it is not necessary. So before we get into our workout, I have already stretched. So you guys need to make sure you stretch, have your equipment, you have your water, and I'll see you back here when you are ready. today. So you're going to want to grab your weights for our dumbbell calf raises because that's what we will be starting with. Every exercise today will be 45 seconds per round, four rounds per exercise. Here we go. Three, two, one. Remember when we're working out, it's always very important we're checking the form and making sure we're doing the exercise correctly. With these calf raises, when you get to the top, you're gonna to try to do it for just a moment to really keep those calf muscles engaged throughout the exercise. Remember to breathe, only got 10 seconds left in this one. In five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and have your rest. We'll have 15 second rests today. Here we go in three, two, one. Here we go right back into it. Remember during the exercise is when we work and we rest when it's rest time. But during the exercise, your goal should be to do the exercise for the entire duration and do as many reps as you can within the time given. Mm -hmm. 
in three, two, and one. Good work. Have your best. Here we go, right back into it again. At this point, your calves should be burning a little bit. If they are not, you either need to be doing more reps or you need to go and find heavier weights to push yourself just a little bit more. Keep breathing, keep checking your form, and push through all the way through each round. And rest. Good work. We only have one more round left of these, and then we're going to move on to our next exercise. And here we go. Last 45 seconds for our calf raises. You might feel it's a little bit harder to get up on your toes at this point. Not so okay. It's just your muscles telling you that they're working hard. You're just going to be a little bit tired. You want to remember if your muscles start to burn, that's okay. That's what we want to happen. I mean, you're building up muscle and it's eating away at the fat that is stored there. So muscle burn is a good thing. That's what we want to happen. Two and one. Excellent. We are done with our calf raises. Now, if you have a mat, now would be your time to grab it. If not, that's okay too. We are going to do our leg raises for our abs. Your form is really important on this one because if your form is not right, then you're not going to get much out of this exercise. Three, two, one. To make it harder for yourself, you can put your hands up to the sides and it gets much more difficult. Or you can put your hands under your glutes to make it just a little bit easier. But you want to try and hold your feet about right here, about an inch or so off the floor for just a second when you go down to really engage your ab muscles. And this one, it's tempting to hold your breath. So you have to remember to keep breathing throughout the entire exercise. In three, two, one, good. Here we go guys, in three, two, one. Right back into it. and rest. It's also important during this exercise to keep your feet together. You don't want them apart. You want to keep your feet touching one another. Here we go. Next round. You might try and challenge yourself through, even if it's just a couple of reps, to put your hands up to the side just to see what that feels like.
and rest. If you're putting your hands up to the sides, something I like to think about is pushing my belly button down into the floor. That way it keeps everything flat on the floor where it's supposed to be, and your abs get the most out of the exercise. This is our last round for this one, guys. So push through all the way. Don't stop from the middle of it. Just keep going and breathe. Remember, we're always checking our form. Make sure we're doing it correctly to get the most out of the exercise. Last 10 seconds, you can do it. Push through. And done. Good work with that one, guys. All right, next we have our alternating lunge jumps. You don't need any equipment for this one. This one is designed to get your heart rate up a little bit, and it's going to burn your quads. This one, you really got to dig deep and push through with me here. And three, two, one. This one's gonna burn a lot. We have to welcome and accept that burn so we wanna get better and stronger. Here we go, guys. Right into the next one. If you need a pause, shake them out for just a quick moment. Do so. And then you gotta get right back into it. Now, 
Don't you give up. Don't you quit. Come on in. Three, two, one. Excellent job, guys. I know that's a bit of a tough one. But remember, we don't do easy things to get better. We gotta get comfortable with being a little bit uncomfortable in order to get better. All right, for our next one, if you have a mat, you're gonna wanna grab it. And those little weights I was telling you about earlier, now it's time for those, for our dumbbell supermans. Remember, the weights are not necessary for this one. You can do them without weight and get just as much out of the workout. The weights just make it a bit harder. Here we go, guys. In three, two, one. This is your time to control your breathing. My uh, heart rate's gonna come back down just a little bit. But remember, I want you to feel this one in your lower back, right above where your pants or your shorts are, this bottom section down here. If you don't have weights, it's the same exact motion as I'm doing. Just with your hands straight out, same difference. And rest. Here we go, right into the next one. My arms and my legs are coming off the ground at the same time and returning to the ground at the same time. You should be sweating a little bit by now. And if you're not, that's your sign. You need to push yourself just a little bit more. And the rest. Remember to keep checking your form. If the weight are causing you to lose the form, get rid of the weight and just do it with your body weight. I'll do this last song without the weights to show you guys what it looks like without weights. Remember to keep breathing. I know you might want to hold your breath, but I promise you, it's going to hurt you more than it's going to help you. And on. Good work, guys. Done with that one.
we're moving on to our last exercise already for our workout today, our spin press. Ideally, if you have a flat plate, that's going to work best. Like I said, a medicine ball, a dumbbell, anything you have to add weight is going to work pretty well, too. Here we go. This one is a slow, controlled motion. Really focus on your form and on your breathing here. And done. Good work, guys. Keep hanging in there with me. I know today's workout isn't exactly easy, but it's not meant to be easy. But we're almost done. We're so close. Hang in there for me. Here we go. Five seconds here for this round. And rest. Only two more rounds and then we will be done. You guys are doing great today. Hanging in there with me. Appreciate all your hard work. Let's do another one. Straight into it. We rest during the rest and we work when it's work time. Great work. We only got one more round left and we are done. And always remember with all my workouts, for just about every exercise, you can do it without weight and without equipment. Your weight just makes it harder and it just enhances your workout. But it's by certainly not necessary. Really focus here, guys. It's the last 30 seconds of our workout right here, right now. Be present in this moment with me. Allow the burn. Allow the sweat. Allow a little bit of discomfort even. Because that is how we get better. Last 10 seconds, guys. Push through all the way to the very, very end. And three, two, one. Excellent job, guys. Very proud of your efforts today. That does bring us in to this workout for our living room workout series. Remember, you need to go stretch, you need to go hydrate. I'm not gonna stretch with you guys. I'm gonna head upstairs at my gym here and hit some cardio machines. And feel free to do the same if you'd like. But I hope you enjoyed today's workout. I hope you keep coming back for more. And I will see you guys here on the next one.